What's up guys, BlackCore Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 first stage number 3 of our Tirreno Adriatico playthrough stage that will take us from Folonica to Saturnia 211 kilometers today and uh, we have the first hills on the parkour uh, we'll have to uh, cross the Poggio Morella twice uh, but mainly we have a hilly finish uh, just followed following sorry a descent so we'll see what Vincenzo can do. We do know that he is one of the best downhill riders in the peloton, if not the best. So definitely something to watch out for today. Um, we'll also see if Julien Bernard can maybe go in the breakaway to get some more points in order to defend his uh, Polka jersey or his best climber jersey. But if you've missed the previous two episodes, then I highly recommend you to go and check them out. But without further ado, let's jump in for stage number three of Tirreno Adratico. And it's a plus 5 for Peter winning. The man is on form. Plus 1 for Vincenzo. Minus 3 for Julien Bernard. Not ideal at all. Uh, but that plus 5 from Peter winning could prove to be very useful in the final kilometers today. Uh, we'll also have Gianluca Brambia able to help us with his plus 2. But we do have an attack from the white jersey. Simon Sinok going for, uh, for the break here. Okay. It's a very early move. Uh, Jonathan Caicedo is already at the front of the peloton. Counter attack on the right hand side with Jos van Emden and Victor de la Parte. I was expecting someone good in Mountain to uh, go for a move. And uh, I mean, there he goes. There goes also Caicedo and Gaviria. Okay, so they're chasing the breakaways. Good. Well, not good. Not good at all for me. But sure, do, do your thing, peloton. Oh, we've been able to have one rider in the breakaway. It's been a, a real, real battle uh, being able to uh, get out of the peloton. But we've actually done it. We've finally done it. Uh, and the rider, he's been the, the lucky one, is Alex Kirsch. I've tried with Brambia. I've tried with Kondekort. I've tried with Julien Bernard. I've tried with Peter Winning. Uh, only Alex Kirsch was able to go. Maybe because he's got better acceleration than the others. I don't know. Uh, but there's another group behind me trying to attack with Daniel Navarro, Pavel Kochetkov, Pascal Inkhorn. Kylian Franchi, Kevin Rivera, and Sergio Semitier. I don't think they're going to have a free pass. But we'll see. In the meantime, we're dropping Jos van Emden. Nice one, Alex. And we have our breakaway. We have our six-man breakaway. Uh, as I said, took some time. But we have Jos van Emden, Bert van Leerberger, Adam Hansen, Alex Kirch, Victor de la Parte, and Simon Sinog, the white jersey. Uh, white jersey by procuration, as um, Mathieu van der Poel is wearing the uh, leader's jersey but we'll see if Alex can do anything for this intermediate sprint uh, I don't know if Sinok will go for it I'm expecting him to do so uh, but if he doesn't then that's fine by me he doesn't it doesn't look like he will no he will he will he will everyone going for the sprint there goes Adam Hansen somehow he's got better acceleration than me <laughs> no it's fine Alex gets with the points good he's now on 19 points I mean, you never know. With, with some lucky days, maybe Alex Kirsch can, can get that, that points jersey. But I don't feel like anyone will be able to beat Mathieu Van Nepel. Now, when the uh, Poggio Morella for the first time today, we'll see what it looks like. We'll see uh, how uh, well the, the peloton behaves. I'm guessing the, the, the breakaway will fight for the points. Uh, I don't see anyone else apart from Victor de la Parte getting the points. There we go. He has already attacked. Uh, my reaction time here was as good as Bottas in Monza. Um, but yeah, De La Parte is easily going to take the points. Julien Bernard uh, is currently giving water to the to the rest of the team. So don't expect him to uh, to get anything here. But Victor De La Parte is going to have plus 5 today. Uh, this first 5 points of this tier on Adratico. P2 for Jos Van Em... Actually, no, P2 for Alex Cash. Nice one, Alex. Crash in the peloton. Big, big crash in the peloton. Patrick Conrad, um, Fernando Gaviria, Pascal Ackerman. I don't know if we've got anyone withdrawing. Yes, we do. We've got Pascal Incorn. Pascal Incorn is out of the race. Jorgensen is out of the race. Kevin Gosens is out of the race. Uh, I think that's it. But, I mean, that's already three three withdrawings. That's not nothing. Conrad, uh, though, that's, uh, that's an L for Bora. Uh, Rafa Maika losing a very precious teammate here. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anyone else. The entire team of Lotto is there. Did they lose, like, their leader? Who's Lotus leader? Uh, do, do they have a leader? It's Mike Tennyson. It's, uh, okay. It's nothing major. Uh, but yeah, I'm expecting some, maybe some riders to come back in the peloton. We have 57 more kilometers uh, to do. And we're slowly catching Victor de la Parte, uh, who is showing uh, 
well, tiredness, and that's somewhat logical. 20 kilometers left, uh, Julien Bernard and Alex Kerr just got dropped for me. Hamilton, Lucas Hamilton and Wilke Kelderman just crashed. That's a, that's a big oof for the team Sunweb and the team Mitchelton score. Samanet losing a very precious teammate in uh, the, the, the final here. Or the finale, sorry. Uh, who's an A1 dropped? That's Tau Guggenhardt. Oh! And Tau just crashed on his own. Oh no. Oh no. That was sad. The the rider of Ineos Grenadiers, is he going back on his back? Yes, he is. Uh, at, at least that's uh, uh, that's a good news for uh, the, the young Brit. But we're approaching Dipo Jomurella for the final time today. Two kilometers until we start the third category climb. Vincent Sonibelli is in prime position. Protected by uh, Gianluca Brambia with Peter winning in the wheel. Come on, Vincenzo, mate. And it's an attack on the right. Or at least an acceleration from Dylan Tunes. D uh, Rui Costa follows. Simon Clark does the same. We've got Michael Woods, Fausto Masnada, Simon Yates. The GC leaders are here. Chris Froome doing his best to uh, stay with the leaders. We're going to catch Dylan Tunes and Rui Costa under the impulsion of Gianluca Brambia. Huge Huge rhythm from the Italian rider. And very close to the summit. Attack by Vincenzo Nibali. Vincenzo Nibali goes for a move at the summit of the Poggio Murella. We're going to try and go on our own. That's not something I do often, uh, but it can be jokes for once. So let's go. We do have a downhill portion as well. I'm not expecting Chris Froome to pace. I don't know if Geraint is there. Where is Geraint? Geraint is here. So Chris probably, probably should go uh, on the saddle or out of the saddle. And chase Vincenzo. Five kilometers left. Twelve seconds is the lead for Vincenzo Nibali. Going in that downhill. You don't need to push too much. But just avoid crashing. Avoid crashing Vincenzo. And the win is yours. Come on son. They, they are kind of like stopping each other at the back. Vincenzo can pace. Good. Good, 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 good. Acceleration. Carl Frederick Hagen is gone with Dylan Tunes. And they probably will catch me at this rate. Which is not good. 600 meters to go. Vincenzo Nibali starts his effort. Can Vincenzo hold on Dylan Tunes? Dylan Tunes is strong. Dylan Tunes is strong. What a win by Dylan Tunes. Who came back on Vincenzo Nibali? What a win from the Baron McLaren rider. Fucking hell. Wow. I didn't think I'd lose that. I didn't think I'd lose that. Fucking hell. Wow. It's a big win today in Saturnia for Dylan Tunes. Vincenzo Nibali comes in, th in second place. Fulson, Clark, Brambia, Chris Froome, Rui Costa, Michael Woods, Peter Venning and Gary Thomas. But what a comeback from Dylan Tunes. Carl Frederick Hagen doing bits for, uh, for Dylan here. But wow. Wow. Ash, that shocked me. I really did. I mean, <laughs> it's it's not often I get surprised by by PCM, but today today was something different. Today Dylan Tunes just proved that he had better legs than Vincenzo. Wow. Okay. Well, congratulations to uh, the 28 year old Belgian rider from Baron McLaren who takes the win in Saturnia, same second as Vincenzo. However, we do have a five second gap over the rest of the peloton, which is absolutely stupendous. Uh, big fifth place by Brambia. Even bigger P9 from Peter Venning. Big up. Um, Mathieu Van Apple losing a minute. Rafa Maika losing 147. Very bad day at the office for, um, for Bora losing Pascal Conrad on, uh, on crash. And Maika not being able to follow the best riders here. Okay. Okay, wow. Uh, Matthias Fra somehow, Sylvain Delier was there. Matthias Frank for Ajax de la Mondiale in, in, in P14. Big up. Uh, what does that mean GC-wise? That means that Dylan Tunes is 4 seconds ahead of Vincenzo Nibali in the new GC standings. Jakob Fulsang is in 3rd place with Chris Froome in 4th. We didn't have a group. Uh, well, the group from Froome to Matt Frank 15 seconds behind the uh, winner, I believe, of La Planche de Belfi last year. He did, did he win it or was it Chicone? It was Tunes, right? I can't remember. Um, best, song, uh, best sprinter is still Mathieu Van Der Poel, or at least points-wise. Mountain-wise, it is still Julien Bernard. Vincenzo has now five points. Best young rider is now Alexander Vlasov. Uh, he doesn't really have any competition, if we're going to be honest. Maybe Tao was like competition, but he did crash. 
Uh, so I feel like Vlasov will bring this home easily. And best team is the Trek Segafredo, of course. I mean, we've done a masterclass today. Uh, but sadly, it wasn't a masterclass for Nibali. I'm, I'm, I'm actually shocked. I thought he'd crumble. I, I really thought like, I'd, he'd come back, I'd launch my sprint, and I'd overtake him. It never happened. <laughs> it just never happened. Uh, but, yeah. GG Delantons. We'll see what happens in real life. Um, but... I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. That would really, really mean a lot to me. If you're new around here and want to see more of this Tirreno Adriatico playthrough, then do consider subscribing to the channel as well. If you're new, you probably haven't seen the uh, Tour de France playthrough I'm doing as well uh, with FDG, with Thibaut Pinot, which you can also go ahead and follow. Uh, follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. But my name has been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.